Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and today we're going to be reviewing a minivan with an extremely long name. So it is a 2020 Chrysler Pacifica Limited Hybrid 35th Anniversary Edition with the S Appearance Package. So... Yeah, lots of words. Anyways, a huge shout out and thank you to the Dodge Ram Jeep Chrysler here in Provo, Utah for providing us with the Chrysler Pacifica. Check out their inventory in the link below if you're in the market for new Dodge Ram Jeep or Chrysler. Let's get into the video. Under the hood, we have a 3.6 liter V6 connected to an EVT transmission. Now, torque and power figures aren't really as important as fuel economy is. It's 30 if you just use the gasoline engine combined, and then if you use the hybrid and the gasoline system, it's supposed to be 82 MPGe. Let's go over things on the front end of this Pacifica Hybrid 35th Limited, yada, yada, yada. Anyways, on the front end itself, the hood's just like any other Pacifica. You do get the projector bulbs with the LED accents. Notice that the Chrysler logo is actually finished in blue right there in the center of it. Now that little thing is for the adaptive cruise control. Fog lights are there on the side, but I mean, other than the blue logo, there's no other way of telling that it's a hybrid just by looking at the front end. Coming around to the side here, we've got two 35 millimeter tires on 18 inch rims in the front and also in the back. And I'm not sure if this rim design was supposed to make it more aerodynamic because they just look really chunky, if that makes sense, with the actual spokes. Now this is actually where you can charge it. It is a plug-in hybrid, so you just click that in, pull it open, and yep, stick it in. You can do 120 volt or you can do 240. Um, volt to charge it and then your regular gas caps there on the back and then here is a side profile on the Pacifica. Now here is the key fob. You've got the Chrysler logo on the back and then you have a ton of functions on it. You've got your unlock, your lock, remote start. That is for the tailgate release and then these are for the doors on the side. We're going to do the remote start first. So all I have to do is just press that and guess what? Nothing's going to happen but you can see that it's on and that's because it's a hybrid so it just starts up the electric system. So press that again and that'll shut it off. Let's actually open things up in the rear so all we have to do is press this button twice and then it'll open up the rear hatch of this Pacifica. Now the seats back here are pretty neat and by the way there's quite a bit of storage. You can fold the seats down to there. That's cool but what I am going to show you is even cooler. If you pull this strap right here and uh, pull the seat obviously I've got to kind of use two hands then that's what folds it in. Um, but you can kind of like lock the seat out so that you could use it as like tailgate seating, but I'm not doing it right, of course, so sorry. But you guys get you guys get the point. Um, and then obviously you can just throw it like that so then you also have storage that way. And yeah, that's, that's enough for playing with the rear seats. If you are done, then the button to lower down the hatch is just that and it'll pop back down. Well, it's time to, nah, that's too much effort. This is, this is why I need a minivan in my life, is so that I don't have to worry about stuff like that anymore. But you can see that's automatic, and here is the back. Now it is captain chairs back here, and yeah, they actually look really nice. The leather on them is very soft. Um, I just reviewed a Chrysler 300, and this is definitely softer than what was in that 300. This one does have little TVs in the back for the kiddos. And then you can see on the other side, it does have a sunshade. That's what that little tab is for. Now I am gonna pop in quickly. So um, popping in, pretty easy to get in here. And Captain Chair does have a little armrest. In terms of legroom, other than this little mat thing being in my way, legroom is actually pretty good. And then I'm about five foot 11 and headroom's good. The other neat thing that I noticed is there is a little thing for the climate controls just at the top there. Sorry if you guys can't see it, the headliner's completely black. Just trust me, there is a little control there. And then there's a bunch of vents at the um, top here. And then in terms of the third row itself, you can see the legroom's pretty cramped. Um, you can still fit someone back there relatively comfortably, but I would mostly reserve the third row for uh, kids. But there are cup holders back there, so that's a plus. Coming up to the front, it does have keyless entry, just like what the back has. And sadly, I actually have to use my arm to open this up. So this is this is gonna be hard. Ah, not just kidding. But here is the door panel in the front. And you've got this nice padding here, which again is very soft to the touch. The mirrors are power folding, so you just press that button and they will fold right in. Um, door handles actually feel pretty nice. Now here are the seats in the front and the seats are very similar to the ones in the back. And they have that nice, fair, like it's just super soft feel to them. So really comfortable seats to sit in, fully power adjustable. Here's your pedal layout. There's your light controls. And then the steering wheel is actually manually adjustable. And yeah, here's one more look before we pop in. Start it up, push button, and then it'll say, e-hybrid and yeah everything will come to life other than the engine obviously 
Here is the steering wheel in the Pacifica Hybrid. Now, zooming in on the steering wheel, again, the logo is in kind of like a bluish color because it's a hybrid. Got your cruise control, adaptive cruise controls down below. The steering wheel itself is kind of like two different parts to it. So you've got like the perforated leather on the center and on the outside, you've got smoother leather and you have this little metal trim to separate it. Definitely a cool look. And then over here, you've got controls for the center stack. You've got like your voice command controls. And then that is for your turn signal. And that is for your windshield wipers. Here's the gauge cluster. Now on the left side, you can see that it tells you if you're in charge or if you're in power mode and obviously the percentage that you're using. You've got a little center screen. And then over there, you've got your fuel. Now notice here, it gives you your range. So it says I have 19 miles of electric power, 84 miles um, total range, and then 65 miles of gas. Um, power and then I can scroll through a couple different menus now none of these are too crazy um, to go for the hybrid info is pretty cool it just gives you a couple different bits of information on it you can see the menus that it gives that's really the only thing that I noticed it was different compared to like a regular Pacifica was just that little menu right there here is the touch screen and first off we're going to put it into reverse now if we put it into reverse you get the bird's eye view and then a regular backup camera this does have 360 camera views though. So you can see you've got backup camera and then right here you've got like front view and then you've got more front view right there. And then if we put it back into park, obviously it goes away. But if we go to the controls tab, we can go to the surround view camera and then it'll show us all that stuff again. Um, other than that, the touchscreen is just like all the other upgraded Chrysler's response time on it is very solid. I mean, everything you can see, I just press it happens pretty much instantaneously. It's cool that they got the little hybrid electric page. Um, it just shows you kind of different bits on it. Um, the battery, you've got your driving history, and then you can even set a charging schedule with it. And then again, this does have heated and cooled seats. And it is a tri-zone climate, so you've got two climates for the front, and then you have one for the rear. Now, in this little area, we have our controls for like the parallel and perpendicular parking assistance. You've got your parking sensors, your lane departure assistance. Again, like I said, it's a tri-zone climate, so these are the dual-zone climate controls for the front. you got your little gear selector. It is a dial shifter, and then that is the low, which you have to kind of press into, get into from drive. You've got your electronic parking brake, and then down here, this is for the little TVs in the back, and then you got a couple charging stations just down in that little area, and then if you press this little tab here, it's just some extra storage in the Pacifica. Got a couple cup holders in this little area, and then this little thing that'll um, pull back, sorry, about that um, but yeah decent amount of storage and then finally we have the glove box and yeah there's the glove box in all of its glory up top here got a little sunglass holder and then some light controls the cool thing is the doors you can turn them off if you don't want the electronic thing or you can obviously open or close the door and then there is a little universal garage door opener and finally they do a black headliner to match the rest of it and i forgot to mention there is some nice little stitching right there now wrapping things up on the interior of let's just call this a pacifica hybrid at this point okay anyways this pacifica limited 35th anniversary hybrid s package all that kind of stuff yada 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 stickers for about fifty thousand dollars for any type of market adjustment which i mean for what it is it's a fully loaded minivan i mean it's at the top of what minivans cost but this has everything and it's a hybrid so i feel like it's a good value but anyways let's take this hybrid out and see how it drives Before we set off here in the Pacifica Limited Hybrid 35th Anniversary Edition S Package, let's talk about visibility. So visibility over the hood, it's just like, well, bam, right down. You can see visibility through the mirror and it does have blind spot monitoring. There is the other mirror and then here's all throughout the rear and it's a bunch of giant windows. So it's really easy to see out of. And in this first portion, we're actually gonna be setting off in electric only mode. Um, hopefully you can hear that. Let's see if you can hear that guys. Just the uh, little whirling of the motors, but it's very quiet. You do hear a little bit of sound um, from the electric motors. Obviously, you're not going to get any engine sound because the petrol engine is not on. Why did I say petrol? I'm not even British. Jeez, what's wrong with me today? Um, but yeah, it's very quiet. I hear a little bit of road noise so far, but um, so far it's actually really quiet. We are actually going to be setting off on the road, and I'm guessing that the... Um, regular engine's gonna start on soon, but it still hasn't so far. <laughs> and so let's talk about road noise and ride quality. So in terms of um, road noise so far, pretty minimal. I hear a little bit, but it's pretty minimal. Ride quality, it's very smooth. 
it is a very very smooth ride and yeah i mean it's just there's not much else that needs to be said about it now we are going to be coming up here so we can kind of get a little bit with the steering steering's very light um relatively direct there's a little bit of play on it um but i mean it's it's relatively direct for what it is and yeah i'm still not hearing any engine this is actually impressive guys i have not used any gas so far well yeah i really haven't we are saving the environment one pacifica at a time well i think that i'll be able to get the uh engine to pop on now that i'm going to get an acceleration with the van Ooh, that is interesting it took a second so there was definitely a lot of instant torque and then the engine took a second to turn on um once it turned on it's an okay amount of power this definitely has a lot of torque off the line but once you get off the line it kind of dies off a little bit i mean it'll get you up and going but yeah it definitely actually feels slower than a regular pacifica and i'm guessing that's because it's heavier but yeah it definitely feels slower we're gonna try that one more time yeah the electric motors it's peppy it's just the engine isn't so peppy <laughs> um but anyways let's sum things up so if you're in the market for a minivan and you're okay with giving away that stow and go seating because yes you do not get stow and go seating with the um, hybrid because that's where the batteries are um so if you're okay with giving up a little bit of storage get a little bit of gas mileage obviously have um potential for some tax savings here in the u.s then yeah this is definitely a really awesome option to look into it drives really smooth i feel like this is kind of like the ultimate luxury pacifica is the best way to look at this so if you want a luxury minivan check out the pacifica hybrid limited 35th anniversary edition s package and there we have it everyone the all new 2020 chrysler pacifica limited 35th anniversary edition hybrid s package Hopefully, hopefully I said that right. Anyways, again, if you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe, comment down below what you think, and then a huge shout out and thank you to the Dodge Ram here in Provo for providing us with the Pacifica. Check out their inventory in the link below. I will see all of you in that next video.